Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs and today I'm going to be showing you how to access all of our custom Glowforge settings once again. Um, as you can see here on my page, this is the old video that I made for it, um, but Facebook decided to delete the notes tab altogether from all business pages. So uh, it's no longer in that notes tab. So this old video probably will no longer exist. I just wanted to show you where it originally was and if you did use that, that is now gone. So we went ahead and we created a whole new Facebook page and I'm going to show you how to access that now. All you got to do is go to facebook.com slash groups slash FSC settings and right now I went through and I manually, manually found all of those settings back and recreated the entire thing from scratch. So if you ever need a setting you can go through here find the settings that you want you use it on your material I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. I've got cardboard settings right here. I'm only going to use the cut settings. I'm testing out a new file today. So the cut settings is 180 speed, 50% power. Um, as you can see here, I've got my Google Nest stand that I'm working on. Um, we'll see if this is a success or a fa failure. This may take a little while for me to get this right here. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using this on cardboard as like a, a test cut. Obviously the joints aren't going to fit right because it's a different size material thickness. But this is going to let me know if that Google Nest sits in there perfectly when I slide it into the side. So um, as you can see I just selected walnut plywood. Um, you can select anything you want. Um, I just find it easier to select a, an item uh, that's in the list. That way you don't have to like deal with that custom unknown material and then all you gotta do is use your set focus and then click anywhere on the screen and it'll set focus on your laser um, once that sets focus that's gonna tell the laser how deep your material is now you can go in here and you can customize your settings and like we said before if you go back to that page 180 speed 50 percent power so I'm gonna change this to 180 and 50% power. And as you can see right there, it says focus height, height of auto. So even though I have this selected and I, um, I customized my settings, it automatically knows the thickness of the material. This is how I do every design that I mess with. Um, I usually just start out with a base of some kind of um, Glowforge material and then I change the custom settings afterwards. You can do it with uncertified material option. That just tends to give me some weird results sometimes, so I just leave that alone. It's easier this way anyways. Then you just click off to the side. That's it. As you can see, 180 speed, 50 power. We'll cut this out. Um, I probably won't show you the uh, the cutout here, but that's, that's all it is. That is how you use your settings um, for our custom material settings. So I hope this helped you guys out for everybody who has used it in the past, uh, was wondering what happened to it. That was all Facebook's fault there. So um, that's pretty much it, much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope these settings help you out, and we'll catch you guys next time.